here we are with a Triumph. A triumph. We've done Ferraris. Now I saw this We've car. done PIs. We have, and I saw this car from behind, and I was convinced that it was the same car, not the identical car, but the same model of car that I took my driving test in. And that is long before driving tests were a thing. Yes. And that was a Triumph Herald. This, in fact, is not a Herald because when you look at it from the front, okay, it has twin headlights, which the Herald didn't have. This is a Triumph Vitesse. It's a two-litre engine as opposed to a 1300 engine. 1360 was the Triumph. Was it 1360? 1360. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> okay. But this was a fun car to drive, and it was fun because if you cornered too fast, the rear suspension on this car is a transverse spring which means you've got a single spring that goes across the back of the car and the wheels are like that. And as, the, as you go around a corner, the wheels tuck up under like that. And if you go fast enough, the wheels disappear into the wheel arches and the car flies off the road, okay? And Paul did that several times. <laughs> so the VTS, two litre, six, straight six, probably put out about 100 brake horsepower in those days. Twin carburettors, Probably. Yeah, Certainly wasn't. Issues. No fuel injection. Twin SUs, I think. So, and a roof boats. that guaranteed to leak. Yeah, absolutely. Roof that guaranteed to leak. Yeah. This one, teal blue. Standard British Leyland MG colours. Triumph and, and, and MG shared a paint pot. Do you know what we've got to look for now? Go on. It's a Marcos. If we find a Marcos, I should be really, really surprised. Because <laughs> that, that was that. <laughs> no, you talked about the roof leaking. Ah. Okay? And, and uh, Marcos leaking was something else. Yes, if Jem Marsh is still alive and watching, we're going to apologise now for talking about Marcos's. Yeah.